Hey guys, it is more than one year since I bought this torch. This is Ludlancer P7R Core. And as you can see, it have many marks of usage, but since I bought it, I was more than happy with its performance. But now, thanks to my new employer, I got upgrade. This is P7R Signature. So let's take a look what is inside of the box. First item is torch itself. It's made out of aluminium, it has a deep brown body with black bezels which give it premium look. Lane of the torch is 158mm and weight with a battery is 202 grams. Then you can find several manuals and one of them we'll use lately for customization of the torch. Next item is this leather hoist. It is great for carrying and protecting the torch. It has really nice and premium finish and whenever you put torch inside it has magnetic clip so you're not gonna lose the torch when you have it on your belt. Then wall mount, magnetic USB charging cable, adapter, lanyard, 21700 lithium ion battery and several dowels and screws to install the wall mount. Now let's put the torch together. Installation of the battery is very easy and as you can see on the back side of the torch there is also pocket clip. Torch has improved ingress protection thanks to the flex sealing technology now offering a rate of IP68. Make it fully resistant to solids and the fully waterproof when submerged in the water up to depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes. For charging you need to use this magnetic charging cable. You can use it with wall mount or without. Now how to charge it. When you get cable near to the dedicated place on the bottom part of the torch, cable will automatically attach with the magnets. And from 0 to 100% it will take around 4.5 hours to charge. Background light of the switch will tell you what is the status of your battery. Red, it is almost empty. 50% it's orange and everything above is green. Now let's take a look on default function of the torch. With turning of the rotary selector you can choose out of the four modes. Then with pressing the button you switch on the torch. In the first few seconds you can change the mode or you will switch off the torch. As you can see on the first position is preset red LED on the bottom. Second position is for power, mid power and low power. You can change this mode in the first three seconds by pressing the button on the top. In the next position you can find strobe. Or if you press the button in first 3 seconds, you will get to the power mode. If you press it after 3 seconds, you will switch off the torch. And the last one is SOS and blink. You can also adjust focus of the light by turning the head, which gives you a lot of flexibility. By double click on the button, you will switch on the boost mode, which will give you full power of the torch, which is 2000 lumens for 10 seconds. As I mentioned before, torch can be fully customized to your needs and you can choose from 10 different modes. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, you need to switch on your torch and then you will hold the power button for 5 seconds. And now we can choose from 10 different modes, which are low, mid, power, dim, blink, flashing, position, SOS, strobe and red LED on the back side of the torch. For the first position of rotary selector, I would like to choose low mode. So I'm gonna save it by holding the power button for 4 seconds. Background light of the button will flash twice. Then you can continue with adding the modes. But I wanna exit so I'll hold it longer so you will see another 3 flashes. On the second position of the selector I would like to save the mid mode. So I'll do the same procedure. I'll enter to the customization mode by holding the button for 5 seconds choose a mid mode and again hold the button for 4 seconds so we'll see 2 flashes, the wait, 3 flashes and the mode is saved. That's 2 out of 4. So as you can see on the first position it's low, second mid and on the third I would like to save power so I follow the same procedure. Hold the button for 5 seconds, select the power mode and save it by holding the button. 2 flashes three flashes and it's done. So as you can see customizing of this torch is very easy and from now on I can access only the modes which I really need which is low, mid, power and red from time to time. Next interesting feature is transportation lock. 
whenever you switch it on, your torch will not switch on. So whenever you have it in your backpack, it will not accidentally switch on and it will not damage items which you have in your backpack. It's very simply to activate or deactivate this function. All you need to do is hold the button for 5 seconds and the light will flash. This way you know that either it's locked or unlocked. Now let's take a look on some beam shots. This is low mode. Output is 15 lumens, but it can run almost for 90 hours. I'm using it most of the time only for reading. This is mid mode. The output of the torch is 500 lumens and the running time is a little bit about 3 hours. And of course I'm using this mode most of the time during my work. And this is high mode. The output power is 1200 lumens and the running time is a little bit about 2 hours. But I'm using this mode only when I need to see something in a far distance. Now let's compare side by side core on the left side and signature on the right side. I set them both to the power mode and you can see that signature have a little bit more power. It's hard to see on the camera, but there is a difference. So what is the difference between core and signature? Of course, signature is a little bit more powerful. You can see it also from the size of the chip when, it, when you put them side by side. Next, the biggest upgrade for me or best upgrade for me is this rotary selector that I can change the mode only with turning this selector. It's uh, helpful and time saving compared to core that I need to always switch off the light because after three seconds I'm not able to change the mode. I can just switch off the light. So whenever I want to change the mode, I need to switch it off and then switch it on again to get mode which I want. So this is really helpful. Next you have this clip which is fine when you want to hang it on your pocket and you have this red LED which is bonus as well. Next is accessories which you get. If you take a look on them you have a longer lanyard on the signature. It's not really advantage but it's there. Uh, with the core you get one charging cable which is uh, quite short and with a signature you get of course stand but the cable is much longer so if sir if your socket is uh, somewhere further uh, next to your table it's uh, easier to charge this one and of course you get a leather hoister with a signature price way 175 115 if it is worth it i think yes this is a great upgrade compared to this one and uh, what is the difference in the price between these two lights core will cost you 115 euros signature will cost you 175 euros uh, i think with all accessories and extra features it's really worth it i found this light very helpful and uh, I use it for last two rotations. Great light. I really recommend to buy this one. So this is all what I want to show you guys today. Please let me know what you think about these two lights, which one you will choose and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye.